cuteness overload, you say? Well, we, Tristan, we see your hyena cubs, and we've tried in our own way to match it with a tiny, tiny little baby elephant, the same one that I saw two days ago on the Sunset Safari. So there she is, the little wobbly girl. And I know it's the same one because I can see, I recognize the mother. And I recognize the older sister as well, who's catching up or will catch up in a moment. Now there's Sis over there. That's her. That's the one just between the trees there. Now this is the older sister. And the last time that we were with this particular herd of elephants, this sister was showing such a lovely side to her nature and the way that she was babysitting her little sister. It was too sweet. Oh, look, look, the little one's suckling now. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was. It looks so tiny, it looks like I could barely be able to reach Mum. There you go. <laughs> Already... Already a great deal more coordinated than it was two days ago. Still a little wobbly. Oh, bump. <laughs> and still essentially trying to trip Mum up. It's amazing. One of our viewers commented not so long ago that it's astounding that mothers never step on their babies or hurt their babies. Because they're so underfoot. And of course elephants can't see down there. But she's so gentle and so aware of the little one. And all of her movements are geared with it in mind. <laughs> it's the best place to be. Warm, sheltered. You don't need to worry about where you're going because you basically just hang out under mom's belly. And she'll take care of you. The sheltered life of an elephant. Hey, little one. You're so cute. <laughs> Poor mom has to has to walk like <laughs> with her legs out. <laughs> Anna Marie, you say that baby Ellie's are too sweet and you must little one mustn't fall over. As I said, a lot more coordinated than it was the last time we saw it, when it was stumbling over every hole. One of my favourite things about baby elephants though is to watch when they do have a little accident like that. Um, when they, they get a slight speed wobble, for example, often they're playing and they're running and they get so distracted that they end up tripping over and falling down face first or bottom first or, or something along those lines. They are hilarious to watch. They're definitely one of the cutest animals that we see. All baby animals are cute. It's difficult to find a baby animal that's not cute. But baby elephants are special. I think it's the combination of the ears and the trunk that they don't know how to use. Oh, hi, Bacon. I'm sure it does happen. So, oh, hi, Bacon is wondering if any animals do have their offspring prematurely. Obviously, um, depending on how premature the baby is, it, it will affect its chances of survival. So, if it's a very premature baby, unfortunately, uh, the, it probably won't survive. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm not a vet, and I, I'm not 100% sure, but one of the things I wondered about was whether that baby elephant that we saw that, that didn't make it whether perhaps it was slightly premature, and that was one of the reasons why it wasn't strong enough and the umbilical cord was still so thick compared to its body size. But then I'm not 100% sure of that because it really did, it didn't look that much smaller than the other baby elephants that I've seen that have been born. So I'm, I'm not sure. But yes, they do have premature babies. They also miscarry. I think it was Taylor, actually, who recently found a, a, what looked like a, a zebra fetus still in the amniotic sac and still partially developed but unfortunately obviously didn't make it. Stillborns happen as well but chances are as a very premature baby it won't be able to survive. That precocial nature of little animals out here not something like a lion cub or a leopard cub but when you talk about baby antelope, baby elephant that need to get up and move with the rest of the herd is essential. Here we go, one that's slightly older and therefore slightly more adventurous in where she goes. Going to explore the base of the Balanites tree before returning to the safety of Mum. Back to her side. Look, it's sucking its trunk. It's so sweet. I love it when they do that. Oh, 
Lynn, at around about six months of age, a baby elephant will start to eat grass. What we see with the little ones is that they do imitate the behavior of the adults and they, they practice, but it's more a, a curiosity thing than it is an actual feeding thing. So at six months of age, they will start to properly supplement their diet with grass. It'll be another few years before they are fully weaned. Anywhere from three to five, sometimes even more, if mum doesn't fall pregnant with another calf. So elephants do suckle for a very, very long period of time compared to... <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Compared to quite a few other animals, you know. Antelope are weaned within a couple of months. Lion cubs, mm, usually less than a year. Baby elephants can take up to five. We've spoken before about weaning tantrums, and they really do have tantrums because they cannot understand how mom could possibly, possibly not want to feed them. This has been a really lovely sighting. I'm going to continue making my way on towards the Mara River. In the meantime, from one matriarchal society to the next, let's jump back on board with Tristan.